Hey everybody, FunshineX here, playing some Wildstar again. It's another beta weekend. It's the almost the end of this beta weekend. Um, I'm in the M13 outpost, which I believe is the one of the first dungeons, uh, if not the first. Um, and it's a solo dungeon, as far as I can tell, which is pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I know it's a dungeon because I died and it says, do you want to resurrect or leave the, instant, leave the instance? So, if not a dungeon, it's an instance. And so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm a little bit higher level than I was last week, uh, so I got a few new abilities. Not too many. I'm playing as a, a DPS medic, which is, as far as I know, hasn't been nerfed yet, and they do quite a lot of damage. Uh, I played a PvP dungeon. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. <laughs> if you go, if you spec uh, healing, man, you can run with the the flag carrier, or uh, I think they call it a. Mm, some, it's a, I don't know, it's some like voodoo sounding word. But anyway, you can run with a, one of those guys and just keep healing them all the way back. It's pretty crazy. So, I might try and run another PvP round just to show that, but I wanted to get this little instance to try. I think it's level 13 and I'm level 14, so I think that's perfect. Come here, embryo. So I've got a... The little AoE that I can put on the ground, I can stack twice. I've got this little seed thing. Go away, Datacron. This little seed thing that I can put out. A pretty big AoE um, that kind of ticks on mobs. Just a, a damage over time spell. Let's see if I can get two of these again before they attack me. Come on, go, go, go. Yeah. Might as well kill two at a time, right? And I got my standard... Uh, you know, AoE, Conal AoE in the front, and straight shot AoE. All my spells seem to be AoE, so it's pretty nice. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even open those. Where did these all spawn from? I am I like this. This is my kind of game, much more than Elder Scrolls. A little cartoony in the graphics, and... But... To have it space themed is just so much fun. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Oops. Sometimes I move too quick though and my health gets a little low and I don't notice it, but... Um, the UI is a little bit impulsive, especially on the low resolution that I'm playing to record with. Um, but they have a lot of the features that some of the MMOs just coming out you know, are, are missing. You know, but the established MMOs have added, so it's like they've thought about what the other MMOs have done well and made sure to include those, even though we're still very early in a beta, you know. So, alright, need to search the mine. Which way? That way? Um, I can't really go that way. I guess I could go link over here. Here we go, cool. This AoE is nice, you can either target it, or you can just uh, spam it, like hit the button twice and it'll just go off under your feet. So that's really nice, especially in PvP, you don't want to click, right? <laughs> Sometimes it's nice in uh, PvE, because you want to target a bunch of mobs, but um, PvP, you just want to target under your feet most of the time. Alright, here we go. Where are we going now? Why does this Datacron still keep coming up? It pisses me off. Look, it's Raven Rabbids. Alien ones. Whoa, whoa, something's... Asteroid? Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, search the mine, and that's where we're going. Nice. So this Save the Outpost, I think this is like the over arc, uh, overall quest arc, and then Search the Mine is kind of like the current task I'm on. I think these little symbols mean these guys respawn. Kind of like a dungeon. Are you used to in a dungeon anyway? But, oh yeah. Four little guys. I don't stand a chance. Ooh, we got lots of mobs in here. Let's go take these ones on. I got some, like, space helmet on for this instance. It's interesting. What's that goo? Should we kill this goo? Oh yeah. Kill goo. There you go. I saved you, Mr. Miner. 
back up your loot and a little health. Nice. Oh, this is much easier. I like that little percentage base thing, because it's like, you don't have to, it's like, a normal quest in WoW would be open 10 hive pods, kill 3 hive inspectors, and 12, you know, 20 miners or something. But with this, you could just decide, you know, they say, well, eggs are worth 3%, if infestors a little harder, they're worth 5%, miners are worth 1%, you know, whatever they, they want, and then you can do whatever you want. And then you're not stuck with, like, 20 people looking for that one egg, you know? So, I really enjoy the way they set this up. <laughs> I'm stunned! Knock back! Oh, run! Oh, that's not good. Double stun. Oh, I don't have any more. <laughs> Dodge and roll, come on. This Datacron thing is pissing me off, though, that it keeps coming up. Whew! Oh no! Why did that guy spawn? That is bull. Sprint, go. How come he just came out of nowhere? Well, I've got like extra gravity, that's cool. The Hive Queen came out. I'm not ready for you, Hive Queen. I need to heal a little bit. Unfortunately, I removed all the healing abilities from my bar. Um, that's one thing, is you're only allowed to have a certain number of abilities. You know, see this one unlocks at a higher level, and it doesn't tell me what level it unlocks at. And I've got six DPS spells, well, five plus a, four plus two utility spells that I kind of like. I don't really want to get rid of my blink and my stun. So I can't really put a healing spell on my bar without sacrificing DPS. Which is an interesting mechanic. Uh, stun that. There we go. Yeah, you be stunned. Uh, she looks like she's about to do something. There she goes. She's breathing, she's breathing, and pukes! Yep. Queens always puke for some reason. It's just part of MMOs. You make a queen, she's got to puke. Uh oh, get out of there. Ah, she's farting everywhere. And you're dead. Yay, dungeon loot! Nice. I killed a boss in a dungeon and saved the outpost. Nice! I think that was it. Um, the very beginning of the quest I didn't show because I wasn't, I didn't know I was in a dungeon. <laughs> And I'm not sure if this is repeatable either, so... But look, if, uh... I got gold rewards. Wow! That's pretty cool. Finished it in 15 minutes. That is really cool. So... Where's my reward? Is this it? Oh yeah, that's a nice upgrade there. I lose some critical hit, but I gain assault and uh, base health. So this is more like a tanking chest, I guess? Hmm. I think I think that's still gonna be a lot more than I what I have. I'm still learning the the grit tech moxie type. You know what the skills are are good for. But I know I want a lot of moxie and a lot of tech right now, kind of as a DPS. So this is an upgrade to tech. I'll take it. Uh, and then did I get anything else? No. Datacron, go away again. And now I need to return to the. Captain Milo, um, I'm not sure if I have to run back out all the way, or if there's a shortcut, we'll see. Yeah, I'm really not sure if there's a way just to quickly exit the instance here. And I don't want to exit it and not be able to turn in this quest, so I'm going to run, and we'll figure out if there's a better way to do it later. Oh, they're all thanking me. Yay, you saved us, you saved us. I'm awesome. Oh, here's the spaceship. Sweet. I guess there was a nice little exit prepared for me. I return to the Nexus. Is that what this says to go to? Sure. All right. Alazar. All right, Captain Milo. So, oh, I got some blue boots. Nice. Brutality tech. Again, they're taking away my moxie. I really like my moxie. Uh, alright, I guess I got bug boots. Good, some good tech that'll replace the tech I just lost on my chest piece, so. 
Pretty happy about that. Let's see how we look. I don't know, that's a lot of clothes for a female character in an MMO. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, that's the instance. It's right here. If we look on our map, it's kind of the excavation base camp. You just see this ship here. Level 13 dungeon, I soloed it. Didn't really have a trouble at all, level 14. Um, so I assume it's intended to be soloed. That would be pretty weak if it wasn't, unless it scales with the number of people, maybe? That's the only thing, other thing I can think of. So, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try with a group later, or I'll look look up if that's really intended just to be soloed all the time. But if it is, that's, that's pretty cool as a um, company to put in solo dungeons. And who knows, can I go run it again? Let's go see that. That's something we can answer real quick. Can I... I can't do the quest again, but... Uh, recommended level range... Oh, there we go! 12 to 16, expected, expected completion time 15 minutes, and I did it in 15 minutes, so they were spot on. Nicely done, Wildstar developers. Cool. Well, I think that's all I'm going to show on this episode, just a quick run through of the first dungeon. And I will see you guys next time. I'll probably get some PvP in and see you guys, show you guys that. This has been FunShot X for Wildstar. Catch you later. Bye.